Zambia is found in Africa's sub-Saharan region in southeastern Africa. Zambia is a landlocked, sparsely populated country with a population of about 12 million people. Biodiversity in Zambia plays a critical role in the healthy functioning of ecosystems and the state plays a bigger role in biodiversity conservation. The livelihood of the rural populace in Zambia is directly dependent on forests to provide ash fertilizer for shifting cultivation, timber, energy, household tools and construction materials. The major threats to biodiversity conservation in Zambia are mainly due to human activities. These include deforestation, poaching and pollution. Chisomo area lies in Chisomo Game Management Area, which is one of the richest game management area in Zambia. The livelihoods of the people in Chisomo is mostly poaching, followed by peasant farming, using poor traditional methods like Chitemene system, which is cutting and burning of tree branches, and intensive fishing using unorthodox methods such as poisoning and blasting. Program Urban Self-Help Push with support from Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program initiated a program called Integrated Ecosystem Management in Chisomo Community in Serenja District of Zambia. The aim of the project was to support communities towards ecosystem and natural resource management. The project costed a total of 30,315 United States dollars. Chisomo settlement in Serenja district of Zambia is arid and has two extreme kinds of weather patterns that cause drought and floods. People farm along the banks of the rivers Lukusashi, Luangwa and surrounding streams where there is rich alluvial soil using chemical fertilizers. But when these rivers and streams flood, crops are washed away, leaving communities with little to no food. Chemical fertilizers are used in the production of these crops. These chemical fertilizers destroy the soil fertility and when washed out into the river, the chemicals pollute the river, affecting life in the river. Moreover, the weather pattern in Chisomo causes two extreme conditions in the upper land and lower land, which cause either drought or floods which damage their crops. As a result, people resort to poaching from the nearby Luangwa South National Park and intense fishing using illegal methods. Chisomo Community Information Center is the main meeting place for community members to come together to discuss and educate one another and challenge each other's conduct regarding environmental and biodiversity conservation. The Conservation Center is a hive of activities on a daily basis with community members from various sections coming to read the materials on posters and pamphlets which have been translated in their own local language called LALA. The translation of conservation reading materials have necessitated messages to penetrate in the lives of the people. Margaret Chibuye and Sarah Kunda engage in discussion on one of the topics on soil degradation. Drama groups were established and have been conducting performances depicting issues of promoting biodiversity management and conservation and preservation of natural resources. Drama performances were conducted once a month. In order to enhance crop production and restore natural fertility of the soil, the inhabitants of Chisomo area were trained in ways of producing organic manure. In Chisomo community, the Kalaguilo group is applying the composite manure to the field in readiness for planting crops. Community members were empowered with vegetable seed. Vegetable seed were distributed and planted using organic manure and techniques of conservation farming. New cassava crop called Bangweulu and Mofu were introduced in the community for the first time. These varieties are high level yielding and early maturing. Mr. Gaspar Chibuye of Chisomo community attests the benefit of the newly introduced cassava seed as he charges that he will indeed have enough food for his family and will not need to go in the bush to hunt game for trade in order to find money for mealy meal. In order to save game and fish in the surrounding rivers from being exploited, the project introduced chicken rearing using semi-intensive methods in the community. This method allows households to rear local chickens 
which are more resistant to diseases using locally formulated feed to enhance growth. This has acted as substitute to sources of protein among community members. Program Urban Self-Help Push implemented this project under the supervision of the Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program through the National Coordinator Gertrude Chuholyonga. The project exhibited great change of attitude of community members from poaching, indiscriminate fishing, land degradation due to use of chemical fertilizers among others, to conservation practices of natural resources and biodiversity. The project has greatly helped in protecting and improving the livelihoods of local people in Chisomo community in Serenja district of Zambia while protecting nature and biodiversity.